Hello viewers. Just imagine 29 good marks being deducted from your practical chemistry examination. 29 good marks being deducted. All in the name of these 10 common errors that I will show to you. I will explain them to you. They are errors that are common. That's why people are finding it difficult to have A or B in chemistry. Because practical chemistry takes 40% of your scores. And the 40% is very, very easy to pass and very, very easy to fail. So, in practical chemistry, there are three options, both under WIAC and NECO. Under the three options, the first option is always volumetric analysis. Sometimes we call it titrometric, it is with titration. You have to construct a table where you have theta values. The table of the theta values, the averaging and the final answer, all will give you 10 marks. Now, imagine you getting 10 marks, maximum mark, 10 maximum marks in the particular uh, question. And there are 29 deductible marks, all in the name of 10 common errors. And I saw that students have been falling victim of this. Why? Because 80% of chemistry teachers are not markers. They are not examiners. They are not marking work, nor NECO. And if you don't have knowledge of this thing, you will always be falling victim. Even teachers will also teach students to fall victim of it. Because there are errors that you might not really notice. You might not really put uh, your concentration on until you fall into it. And this year, people will still fall into the trap. It always baffles me when I mark. After I've been marking for the past 15 years now. It affects me. Okay, because the first thing we always do when we are marking is for us at the left column, what we always do is to put all errors, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus all the errors. We now sum it down. Okay, now those 10 errors will now give us minus 28. If you fall victim of the 10 errors, minus 28. And we now start marking. Anything you get, we start allocating mark. And the maximum mark you can get at the right hand side is 10 marks. So, Minus 29 plus 10, we have minus 19. Or sometimes minus 28 plus 10, we have minus 18. So it means somebody that did not even approach the question at all, we score zero for that place. The person is better off than you getting minus 18 or minus 19, just for errors, which will now affect other aspects. So now, I make this video now pleasant, but primarily to show you the errors. So now I will now go to where I will show you the errors, the template, and what WIAC always give to us. Also, NECO, this is the same thing that we always use to mark. Even when you go to university, they will still follow the same rule. So you have to know it as far as chemistry is concerned. So let's now go there now. Let me show you the 10 errors in total and the mark allocated for it to be deducted. Now, as you can see, you will see that this is a template from the West African Examination Council, WIAC. This is what you use to mark that of 2024. And it's also valid for this year and subsequent year that will come. Okay? You can see, they said that is marking guide. Marking guide. Where it is evident that the candidates has in the foreknowledge, all those ones have made a video on it before, or now we mark chemistry practicals and what you should be careful of. But today, I will go down to where you see notes. The dot marks as follows. Note the dot marks as follows. Very, very important. Number one, any candidate who answers any part of the questions in pencils loses two marks just once. We always call it WIP. That's minus two. Please, let's start adding them together now. Or convert pencils to ink. CPI. That's minus one. Okay? Now, if you are voting with pencil, that's minus two. So let's go to number two now. No unit or wrong unit. Any of the two, minus one. Now, making minus three now. Making minus three. Let's go to number three. Consistently reading breaths to one decimal places. 
you call the CBR, that's minus two. Okay, when you add that to minus three that we have, it gives us minus five. So let's go on. Okay, now number four. Now inconsistent no reading bullets to one decimal places. That's minus one. I be high. Number five. Arithmetic error. That's minus one. For each lapse is up to a maximum of minus two. So if you add minus two to what we have on grant, you, you can see what it gives to us. Okay. Now, Akala in bullet, that's number six. Mark and the dot four marks. Hmm. Another four marks there. Okay. Number seven. Putting down title values when the candidate puts down title values without showing how they are arrived. That is when you didn't show initial or final bullet reading. Okay. We are told to mark accordingly and the dot four marks. Minus four. You see that again? All right. Number eight. Deliberate alteration of theta values to agree with the teacher's theta values. We call it that, DAT. That is, you have written theta value before, you now shade it. Or you change it for no, for any reason. So for each lapse, is a maximum of minus four again. You see that? Okay. Number nine. Cancellation of table of theta values. I'm making another table to be within the range of obtaining the maximum marks. COT. Minus four. You must not cancel your what your table and that's why some teachers will tell you to use pencil to draw and that's why you can fall victim of the number one if you have forgot if you for, forget to what to clean the pencil you see the dot two that's number one there so let's go back now so number 10 any candidate who uses 0, 0.00 centimeters as the initial bullet reading but fails to recall volume of acid used this is one mark for each titration, and we have that's VOU, and we have minus two as maximum. Let's add that up also. All right, now number 11 any bullet reading beyond 50.00 centimeter cubes score zeros. Why is that? Because the maximum bullet can take is 50 centimeter cube. Number 12 where initial and final readings are interchanged. You see now. The dot two. If you dot another two marks, if you see that if you add it up, everything now you can see the maximum mark that is deductible. Okay, and the maximum mark that is attainable is ten marks. Please, this video is primarily for that. Now, if you need or if you want to watch other videos on chemistry and everything, please check this channel, which means you have to subscribe, like this video, share to your friends. Check this channel; you have made a lot of videos. I've made 200 videos on chemistry, physics, and mathematics that will really help you. So thank you and God bless you. See you in another video.